Some of them are late mature and grow up later. So what we see is different things. The growth, the development and maturations are different aspects. So the growth is how you increase in body. Uh, you become taller or your arms become longer and so on. The development, the functional changes, the brain and so on. The maturation, how you become an adult. And then you have some issues like chronological age. I'm 12.001 year old and my teammate is 12.999 year old. He's almost 13, but we're benchmarked with the same benchmark 12 years old. It makes a difference of one year. So probably you have to adapt your system and it's in the system itself to recalculate and to adjust your number. So instead of jumping 140, I have to jump 145 and my mate has to jump 135. That should be more correct. So this is how we use the benchmarks and I come back to your question for your climbers. How do you use it in different sports? Well, this is what we see. Normal children, normal developing girls at the age of six are one meter and 20 centimeters. One average, one set score further, 130. At the age of seven, they are 126. At the age of 10, they are 141, and so on. So those numbers mean something. But if you look at gymnastics now, then you find the same, and look at this, the Anthropometric quotient AQ is 100 and AQ is 115. Look what happens if you use this for gymnasts or if you use this for climbers. What will happen is gymnasts are smaller. The average quotient is 77, which means 105 centimeters. I go back to my previous slide, 120, 15. And the standard deviation is 8, and here it was 10. So that means that if you look at your data, my gymnasts are here somewhere. Yeah, that's the data from my gymnasts compared to 